Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at Zero Dark Nerdy, the world's most notorious pop culture podcast. This is your boy Brian, aka El Nino, and today I am joined with Mateo, aka Don Mega. Right? That's what that, that was the name. Don Mega. Yeah, <laughs> Casual genius. Ooh, Jerry. I like that. Uh, Jerry, aka J Don, aka Dance Zemo Dance. Mm. I haven't seen it yet, but I sure am seeing it on social media. Brian Saber, Captain Cleveland, Browns, Cavs, Cleveland baseball team, CLE till I die. I got news. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, yes, I got news. Your boy done got <laughs> your boy done got that, that J and J today, baby. I beat COVID. I oh. beat COVID. At <laughs> noon, I got the Johnson and Johnson. I feel terrible right now. <laughs> It's I heard a, that was the worst one. Yo, yeah. but, you know, one take safe, man. I, yeah, I, do, yeah, I yeah. do it in one take, baby. I'm not going back twice for that shit. So, anyway. I did. Um, I beat COVID. We won. <laughs> go get your shots. There you go. So, we are getting ready to kick off our final episode for season three. I can't believe we're coming up on year three of Zero Dark Nerdy. Season four of the podcast, getting ready to come your way. Before we get started, our man Saba has a word from one of our sponsors from the Believe Podcast Network. Bet online is the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your sports action. The Masters is here. Bet online has you covered for all the news, scores, and odds. It's the best way to place your bets, and it's free to sign up. Head to betonline.ag with your computer or mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first bet. Bet online, your online sports book experts. One take Saba strikes again. So we sent out a survey, I think what, like a month, month or two it's ago, been a something while. like that. It's been a little bit. So we are going to, we do this every year. It's the, uh, the Oscars for pop culture, a.k.a. the nerdies. The nerdies. The nerdies. So uh, we're going to, you know, go through the ones that we sent out to the fans. And then individually, we all have kind of our, our own favorite, least favorite thing, whatever it may be for 2020. Do want to give a big shout out to Jordan Brown, one of the original five horsemen. I got the four horsemen here, but the fifth horseman, Jordan Brown's at work tonight. Big shout out to Green Valley Grill. Woo! And of course, uh, the rest of uh, our amazing podcast, my daughter, Jordan, Courtney, Nicole, Tim and good old Dennis, big shout out to you guys as well. And please, big shout out to our amazing fans out there. I cannot believe that we're getting ready to hit year three, season four. It's uh, it's very surreal. So I'm excited, nervous, all that fun stuff. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first category, Did which I was a little quiver there. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Dude, cries every Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> So we had the first category was best new show of 2020, and your nominees were Lovecraft Country, Hunters, Space Force, Dave, Little Fires Everywhere, Star Trek Picard, and then some write-in votes. This one was a tie, so we're going to leave it up to us here at Zero Dark Nerdy yeah. to see if we can break that tie. Yeah. It was a tie between Dave and Lovecraft Country. Let me go ahead and start with Saba on this one, and then we'll go to Jerry and then Matthew. Well, I haven't seen Lovecraft Country, so we're going to go yeah. with uh, Lil Dicky, LD. Love Dave. Great writing, great acting. Um, great show. They just wrapped season two this week. I saw that, um, you know, Little Dicky posted about it on, on social. So I'm going to go with Dave. Great show. FX. True. Jerry. Cool. Um, I saw a little bit of Lovecraft Craft Country. I made a a few trivia questions about it. Um, didn't really see it. Didn't really see Dave either. So uh, I don't know. I was just watching a bunch of uh, old stuff during the um, pandemic. The shut in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> shut in. No, that was me. I was a shut in. <laughs> um, but if I had to pick one or the other, I'd go Lovecraft Country because it's supposed to be super sci fi. And that's up my alley. Are we gonna I love Dave, though. Us? <laughs> Is there did a tie you, coming between It might us? be. It might Maybe. be. Did you go yet? You no, not, go yet. I haven't gone Well, yet. I started to invest in Lovecraft Country as it came out. We've all okay. missed the R on craft. Love craft? <laughs> Me, you, and Jerry love have craft. all called it Lovecraft Country. <laughs> oh. Welcome to my world of butchering words. 
<laughs> we'll be, be that for the day. We'll be that. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, Lovecraft Country. Right? County? Country? It's country. Yeah, country. That's the one. yeah, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> um, so I invested in that as soon as it came out. Mm-hmm. And it was very sci fi. Yes. So but it told. bounced around <laughs> so far that I couldn't keep up. I just, I had to pay too much attention. With Dave, I laughed every single time. I yeah. looked forward to every single episode. And the very last episode was fucking genius. So I'm going to go with Dave. I couldn't agree more. So Dave will take the tiebreaker. Very enjoyable show. Love little Dickie. Gata is fantastic. Uh, his story, especially about his just kind the of mental depression, illness, the yeah. mental illness stuff. That's bipolar, actually very yeah. true. And uh, that's actually like his road dog in real life as well. So great cast, incredibly funny. If you have not seen Dave yet, check it out on FX. And uh, they just wrapped up season two. So hopefully we get that at the end of the year. This show got five write-ins. You know what I want. You know what I want. It don't matter. I want to hear the write-ins, man. Well, I don't have them. (laughs) You don't have them? I read them today and I've already forgotten. I I read them too, but yeah. We do this every year. I want to know what the write-ins are. I'll let you know after the show. So for those of you that wrote in, <laughs> we appreciate it. We encourage write-ins, uh, even so though Brian we, is... We encourage it, but he might not make it up. Yeah. Even though Brian is discouraged. Well, he might not acknowledge it. He doesn't even it. say who, who wrote it in either. So, you know. All right, keeping it going. So we got... Fa- so that was the best new show of 2020. Then we have our favorite show of 2020. And the nominees are The Mandalorian Season 2, mm-hmm. Better Call Saul Season 5, mm-hmm. The Boy Season 2. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tiger King, (laughs) (laughs) Ozark season three, and The Queen's Gambit, and no surprise here, Mandalorian Mm -hmm. season two, hands down, best show of 2020. I think I voted for The Queen's Gambit. I watched it as it was like one movie. So did I. Oh, she uh, actually been through it in one day. I thought that shit was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, it was dope. But you can't, I mean. The idea of like this alcoholic, like. uh, Pill popper. Pill popping, pill yeah, she was a pill popper, but she drank but she was, too. But she, she was, drank too. She did drink. The the the, <laughs> the the the. I guess that's not a part of pill popping. God, the, damn. the substance abusive chess player. But she was conditioned that way. Yeah, but that shit was good. But I I think uh, Mandalorian is a yeah. Is the a, way it is, ended is the right winner. I mean, come on! It's it's Star Wars. It's the very first Star Wars television show, mm-hmm. fully sanctioned by Disney, the new owners of said property. Like, it blew all of our minds. I didn't think it was going to be that good, and it was it's it's fucking great. phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. um, so good. I can't wait for all that new extended stuff that they're talking about in the Star Wars world and the Marvel world. Really, um, any you want you want to expand on that? Maybe. Well, you can't um, just tease us like that, Jerry. <laughs> Well, um, there's a few shows coming up. That Obi-Wan show is yeah. going to follow up nicely. Uh, also, we got a good tease uh, at the end of uh, Mandalorian Season 2 for the Book of Boba Fett mm-hmm. that's coming out. Um, that's going to be coming, and it's just going to continue the story that George Lucas put forth, and Dave Filoni and uh, John Favreau yeah. are going to... I don't know. It's He's passed the torch to those guys, and I fully trust whatever they want to do. And it was announced today that Din Jardin will be in the book of Boba. So yes, yes. Apparently they gave him enough money. <laughs> yeah. Who's money Obi-Wan? Pays. Are they keeping the same Obi-Wan? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's uh, you and McGregor. Christensen's in it too. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. yeah. Hayden okay. Christensen as uh, he hasn't been doing much Darth lately, Vader. So I'm sure he's he happy. doesn't need to. He's fucking. <laughs> so it's, it's set. What, it's set. What? 10 years. It's set 10 years after the events of episode three and apparently i saw yesterday on social media that obi-wan has learned uh the art of being able to talk to the the dead right. jedi so so you i think we're gonna get liam neeson oh, as yeah. well yeah liam neeson is in my shit yeah. Yeah. liam neeson and then what <laughs> samuel jackson too i mean a fuck yeah. Man in oh there. yeah and then mace windu and He's then i everything. also i also saw today that Into the Spider Verse two will feature the '90s animated yes. Spider Man, which is cool. Complete Can't with wait. that voice actor, yeah, I would hope. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Yeah, all right, that's Can't good. Can't wait. I did like uh, two of them that ranked in this poll: um, uh, Mandalorian for sure, but then Shit's Creek came in second. Yep. Um, 
that was an amazing show. That came out of nowhere. That mm. was an amazing show before people knew it was an amazing show. Right, right. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, people jumped on the bandwagon for mm-hmm. sure, but that show has been consistently funny the entire time. Mm-hmm. It's just we finally caught up with it, and it was very emotional. <laughs> 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 Okay. And they, you know, they're not, you know, stretching it out. They did their thing, and now they're yeah. done. And, and did very well. They can all move on to other projects now. Exactly. And then what commercials is it that David, uh, David's that Dave's in? Um, M&M's. Some phone. Some phone. Is it? Yeah, he did an Eminem commercial. Yeah. Then he was also plugging some phone, Cricket or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Who knows? We'll see. So in between going through the six categories that we let all of you, our amazing fans out there, vote on, we also have our own just pop culture awards, you know, again, likes, dislikes, things like that. So we're going to start with Mateo, a.k.a. Don Mega, <laughs> with his award for 2020. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so I actually text these to Don earlier because I wasn't going to remember. Um, my category was best what the fuck moment of 2020. Okay, I like it. I like um, it. And I've, <laughs> I kind of want to get your opinions on this. First off, I'm going to say best photobomb. Uh, the fly in Mike Pence's hair. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Best what the fuck moment. We're going to say Mike Pence's fly. Mm-hmm. Um, four Seasons landscaping mm-hmm. interview. Mm-hmm. Um, anything about Kanye West. <laughs> Giuliani, period. Not only getting outed in Borat, but also when he farted twice <laughs> or, or when his hair dye was like dripping, dripping off yeah, his yeah. face That's and jada filthy. pinkett's entanglement Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so those are my best what the fuck moments i feel uh, bad for will so do you have a I'm winner not... for that you remember what would be i would say giuliani one? giuliani all i'm gonna say is you remember will's face Oh, like God. we can't. It's, it's, like, it's, it's a meme. We can't. We, we can't vote for that. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. On but the strength I, of will, I've, I've always heard that they had an open relationship, though. Evidently not. Apparently yeah. not. Because yeah. <laughs> so. Will was crushed. Yeah. Somebody he got was crying. Yeah. Somebody he got crying. too familiar. Big Will style, yeah. Big Willie <laughs> style was She got not real comfortable open. with that shit. <laughs> she made her own definition. It's okay. So we got Pence. The fucking stupid fuck up with the Four Seasons Hotel. That's hilarious. That, that will really forever funny. be hilarious. We got Giuliani's filthy ass. <sighs> that Borat movie was funny. I got to go Giuliani with that, too. I mean, it was dumb funny, but it was yeah. really funny. Yeah, it was I mean, he's spot just, on. He's, he's become... And people said they hated it. They said it was the worst one. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Is that the next one? I'm going nope, Julie, nope. I mean. oh, We okay. are gonna switch up. over to the music side real quick. Before so we wait get a minute, to Jerry. Did, we, did we vote for Giuliani? Yeah, Giuliani's yeah. fart or All just right. Giuliani. Period. Giuliani's <laughs> fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do here. Expect the unexpected what, what, from what, Zero what? Dark Nerdy. All right, next category: favorite song of 2020. Honestly, I don't feel like going down this list, but I will. Uh, just a little bit. We got WAP. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm a Savage by Megan the Stallion. Not the Stallion. <laughs> the Stallion. What else we got? Doja Cat, Say So, Drake featuring, and then it cuts off. But it didn't it get any votes. Because it's Drake. You got, it got no <laughs> votes, and that's not exactly Matthew's favorite. Lady Gaga, <laughs> Stupid Love. The Baby featuring Roddy Rich. Dua Lipa, Don't Start Now. And then a couple write in votes. Uh, the Weekend. Blinding Lights is the winner, though, for Song of 2020, I'm which I'm, I'm good with that. It was everywhere. It after, was everywhere. So. I'm just not a fan of that person. After really? seeing After seeing mm. Dua Lipa on the Grammys with her performance. Dua Lipa's dope. She's on my list, boy. <laughs> but which, which, which list exactly are you talking yeah. about? The, the list. Yeah. <laughs> Let's clarify here. The, yeah. the list. <laughs> okay. Okay. I actually liked um, WAP. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Who doesn't like WAP? Who doesn't like WAP? <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it, <laughs> actually. No, I but, mean, normally that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Before we get to most lit movie of 2020, Jerry, what is your 2020 award going to? And what is the category for you? Well, I've got one and a half. Oh. So my first, my actual full one is the most Fucked up death from the boys season two. Ooh, good one. There were a lot of deaths 
honorable mentions, uh, Black Noir ripping that dude's head off mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Homelander versus Homelander clone. That was kind of weird. But uh, my top three are as follows. Number one, or number three, Homelander getting the tug job from <laughs> Stormfront and crushing the dude's head on the wall. Um, yeah. Haven't we all wanted to do that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> But it's like the ultimate, like, how would you like to be that guy? Yeah. You have to watch someone getting a hand job as your skull is being crushed. Right. <laughs> At one point, he's just like, kill me. <laughs> Get this over with. <laughs> Fuck. Um, and number two would be uh, when the guys uh, crashed the boat into the whale and, mm. and, and impaled it in, to death. That was pretty funny. Um, that's completely the deep's fault. Uh, hopefully definitely that was a cgi whale so no whales were harmed yes um but number one oh my god uh kimiko ripping that dude's face off mm, wow that, that was awesome. the most gruesome shit i've ever seen in my life um it's I, it still gives me nightmares she is the coolest member of the boys for sure mm. <laughs> And then uh, another honorable mention, that Fanta Church guy's head blowing up. I was waiting for that shit. God, he was so That was so great. Um, And then my uh, half of a uh, category, uh, my favorite Mark Hamill sighting in 2020. Number one is obviously him de-aged showing up at the end of The Mandalorian as Luke Skywalker. I think that blew everybody's nips off. Mm. Um, But then he also uh, cameoed on What We Do in the Shadows in 2020 and that's one of my favorite shows it's if you like the movie you'll love this show it's so funny and Watiti's in charge of all of it so you'll love it vampire comedy but he popped up there so that's it it. that's my thing it did blow my nips off (laughs) he's still trying to find him (laughs) so before we get the most lit movie of 2020 i do want to give a big shout out to sun stashes.com that is s-u-n-s-t-a-c-e-s So these guys didn't know I was getting ready to do this. They provide these really, really awesome pop culture sunglasses. So we're each going to wear one as we go over the most lit movie of 2020. Yes, please. So there you go. (laughs) Who wants Krusty? Oh, Krusty. Let me see what the other option is. (gasps) I want that one. I want that one. one, 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 one. All right. We'll switch up because I get get Jason. So there we go. Again, stunstashes.com. I met them at Toy Fair a couple years ago. God, I cannot wait for conventions and trade shows to come back. But uh, really cool shades, all kinds of different, uh, you know, companies, (laughs) animations, stuff like that. That's great. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Really, really fun sunglasses. Great company. So, again, big shout out to sunstashes.com for these cool shades. So we will rock them. Uh, Jada may rock it the entire Jerry, show. I Jerry, love these. these. I, knew, I knew he was going to get that. Oh, Jerry, my God. There's pictures of you like that. Every, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've so, got my own oh, hat. He's going to wear this at Trivia Night. Yeah. <laughs> no, these are great. This I'll is, come visit you at Trivia with yes. these on. There you go. So, all right, let's get to most lit That's movie funny. of 2020. Lit. lit. Options are Bad Boys and for I Life. See the Gentleman. I know. I've got this like right next to my face. Uh, Tenet. Onward, Soul, Wonder Woman 84, The Old Guard, Sonic the Hedgehog, Host, Hamilton, and then uh, I think like two people wrote in votes. But the winner uh, by about three votes is The Gentleman. Yeah. Came out right before COVID really hit. It was I think it's still one of the last movies I saw in the theater, it to be is honest the, with you. It is, because you and I saw it. Yeah. I, it's what the fuck is The Host? I have no idea. It was, I think it's a horror movie. Some parasite or something. It was, yeah, it was some a parasite type of shit. But I mean, one. Guy Ritchie definitely came back with the thunder. Um, amazing cast. The only thing that was missing was Jason Statham. But, you know, now they have that new movie coming out that he's going to be in. Yeah. And uh, it was just well written. It was funny. It, it's everything you would expect from a Guy Ritchie movie. And uh, of course, McConaughey. Chilled it. Uh, killed it. Did I say that right? Chilled, chilled it. it. So I fucked up the chilled it, but I actually said his name right. So yeah. awesome, awesome movie. <laughs> yeah, good what, are, what are your guys' thoughts on this Man, round? I like Soul. Soul was fantastic. I just watched it for the first time the other night. Did you feel things? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought the message, you know, was, you know, outstanding. About your right, but it's about a new perspective sp- on how that should happen. Yeah, about your about your spark and sort of what 
what uh, you know, it, what uh, drives you in life. I, I really like soul. I did vote for, um, I did vote for the gentleman. But I will say this: I, I did not think Bad Boys for Life was as bad as some people did. It wasn't bad. No. So they're making three sequels, three more sequels. Three? That might be too much. I feel you. like they wasted the name though, because they should have saved Bad Boy for Life on Part Four. I think what they're going to end my up, opinion. what they're going to try to do. What would you have do? called part three? Bad boys three. <laughs> <laughs> bad boys. Uh, bad boys again. Trace. <laughs> bad boy. <laughs> take that. Take that. <laughs> um, I'll, actually, I'm going to save my, my little gripe. And Jerry, any comments about the, uh, the movie round? No. <laughs> I did like seeing uh, classic uh, Jim Carrey in Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yes. jumping back yeah. to his wacky ass shit. Like, not enough of him. Yeah. but at the end. But it was nice to see that again. It's gonna, it, yeah, the sequel's coming. And that movie went under the radar too because it was like right before COVID. Right, because well. nobody wanted to see it after they showed up that, oh, that fucked up Sonic, God. and then they said, okay, we changed it. Talk about. And then it was like four, it came out on like Fourth of July. Yeah, or some shit. So yeah, nobody cared at that point. Yeah, that's true. All right, uh, Saba, you want to go ahead and do uh, your little award for 2020 all right as much as i love these again big shout out to sunstashes.com again sunstash as in mustache.com for these awesome shades thank you guys so much be sure to check them out great gifts for kids uh any kind of cosplay these. events things like that they're just fantastic i just have to take mine off because i can't see shit it's i'm already blind eyes. as is yeah i can't see anything <laughs> jerry's like fuck it i'm not taking it. he's never taking those off he might sleep in those tonight <laughs> It's got like little eyeballs on it and it's hurting my eyes. All right. So what, what did I do for mine? So I wanted to try to incorporate the essence of last year really cool. into mine. Um, I think one of the silver linings, and there aren't many, one of the silver linings of 2020 was that it f the, the dynamics of sort of the shutdown and quarantine forced people i.e celebrities and entertainers to become more creative mm -hmm. yep. and and they took everything to live stream so especially for a few months there so what i am going to do is i'm going to pick my favorite live stream I, not necessarily moment but live stream uh broadcast as a whole of 2020 first and foremost obviously the versus battles um you know yeah thank god for that Man yeah manny fresh and scott storch rizza and dj premier first it was swiss and timbaland Sw yeah, well, they're yeah the creators right. of it too, then, right? because they did it once and then we're like oh we got something here yeah the next uh, the, did you watch the one last week the isley brothers and earth wind and not Fire? yet because i need to be alone <laughs> it, it was out Candle, candles lit yeah i need to set a move for that one man uh <laughs> The next one is the Raekwon uh, and Ghostface one was awesome, Jesus. but the next one is Method Man and Red, and yep. Red Man on four twenty. Yeah. Um, so I, I think Versus was outstanding. Quest Love uh, for a lot of people that like the Roots and know the Roots and, and know Quest Love sort of as the drummer for the Tonight Show house band. You know he's part of one of the most influential hip hop groups of of all time, and one of the things ever since they moved to New York to do the Jimmy Fallon show, he started to become, uh, do DJ sets. So any night of the week, uh, you can go, uh, especially on the Brooklyn bowl in Brooklyn mm -hmm. and, and catch him on his DJ set. Well, he wasn't able to do that. So what he would do during quarantine is do like four five, six hour DJ sets where he featured an artist. And one that I remember, he actually did a part one and part two where he did Prince. Mm -hmm. He did all Prince songs for like four hours, and then he did another one. Oh, so, he did that, that for airplanes? Michael Jackson, too. Yeah, he did it for Michael Jackson. Yeah. He did it for Whitney Houston. Yeah, I think we watched that at your place. We were watching. Oh, you okay. guys yeah. came over, and I was watching yeah. it on my TV. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was really great. And I'm going to say another one. This is kind of off the wall. Barstool Sports, the the CEO, uh, the, the sort of front man for Barstool Sports, his name's Dave Portnoy, for those of you that don't know. He did this thing for about three, four weeks – where he was encouraging people to send things to him in his house. 
Random shit. Random shit. But like people got smart after about three days and started realizing it was an opportunity to promote their products. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I wish we would have done that. He was getting he was getting like five thousand packages. He was opening packages at night for like six hours. Jeez. Opening it up. People send him stuff. So and this crazy because one night there was like that Quest Love was DJing. And then I would click another IG live and it was versus was on. And then I would click another IG live and it's Dave Portnoy. And he's getting like a hundred thousand people watching him just open these random packages from people. So I think when you when I think of twenty twenty, those are the three things that I will think of. And we didn't send him shit. No. We didn't send him nothing. I dropped the ball on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, I, I gotta believe you know versus the the versus battles are, are here to stay. I and hope so. It's going to continue to expand. So I gotta say the the winner of, uh, you know the best live streamed content <sighs> of twenty twenty is the versus battles. Excellent. Okay, excellent. God, that's a good one. Man. I love them live DJ sets though. Yeah, I do love those live. Aside DJs. from Questlove, yeah, I went to Brooklyn Bowl. He does it every Thursday. He calls it Bowl Train. Yeah, because yeah. you know Soul Train for the, those yes. those yeah. the, yes. for our younger audience out it. there. It yeah. was a show. <laughs> Look up Soul Train. <laughs> uh, so it's Bowl Train, and he's every Thursday, and then it's a theme every Thursday. Um, when I was there for whatever reason, he couldn't make it, so he called in a a fill in, and it was Talib Kweli. <laughs> Damn, I was I was gonna ask if that's where you got the picture. That at. is where I got the picture of me and Quali. Wow. Yeah, I was like stunned. Not a bad substitute <laughs> DJ. <Right. laughs> but yeah, they those guys know way too much about music. I thought I knew a not a yeah. lot. Yeah, I mean, and if you look at Quest Love shit too, I mean, it's just crates on crates. I on think crates a lot of it days. comes from sampling, right? I mean, these guys are just digging through yeah. records trying to find that. That sample, that that little snippet that they can use to put in their music. Maybe not yeah. so much Quest Love, but no, definitely Qu- Quest Love. His dad was in like a like a like a five heartbeats type shit. Like yeah. he was in a band. He was in it. So Quest Love was in it at that time. Quest mm. Lover. So he saw all of that shit. He's he is in up. soul. He is yes, soul. he is. Yes, he is. He's and then uh, they just won what? And Donnell Rollins. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ashley Larry. Ashley, Ashley Larry. Larry. Marcy, son. For those of you listening on the podcast, we're going to take just a quick little time out for our next sponsor spot. All right. And we are back. So next category is worst movie of 2020. And your nominees are Wonder Woman 84, The New Mutants, Mulan, Save Yourselves. Color Out of Space, good old Nick Cage, Borat, <laughs> subsequent movie film, Bill and Ted Face the Music, and then I think we had like one right in vote. So this one is a tie as well, and it is Wonder Woman 84 and Borat, Borat. subsequent movie what film. are y'all watching, yo? This <laughs> Borat was hilarious. Wonder Woman 84 wasn't terrible. Right. They They're dropped so the ball good. there, They man. dropped the ball, yeah. That story was dumb. Did you see Mulan? No. <laughs> that shit was garbage. I didn't think Mulan was that bad. I knew. You were I thought say the that. I thought the visuals were pretty. Bill I'm and not... Ted. Did anybody see the Bill and Ted? No, no. no. I don't think I met a single. That's person. the worst because I don't, don't, don't want to ruin nobody it. Nobody saw it. I don't want to ruin my memories of the good times. <laughs> the good times. Who wants to see a grown ass Keanu Reeves being a? Never mind. <laughs> being San Diego High School football dude. rules. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one do you got to pick to break the tie, though? Ah, between Borat and Wonder between Woman? Between Borat and Wonder Woman. Which one was worse? I can't do that. I'm well, Wonder Woman. Woman. Wonder Woman was yeah. worse. Borat made me laugh. I liked the Borat movie. And Giuliani. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Borat, Giuliani, Saba. I didn't see either of them. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even see Wonder Woman? I didn't see it. I didn't have You like age. Gal. I do. I love her. She, she's on the list. <laughs> she this is, is growing. This. No, no. She, By the minute. The aforementioned It's, it's funny list. that those two come up because those are the only two. I I haven't put a lot of time into the list yet. Look, the co-host Don't, of, though. Like, the, yeah, yeah. The, the, the co-host of uh, The Water Cooler, Luke Crocker, has like his list. 
and then he's got like his honorable mentions list, mm -hmm. and then he's got his 50, 50 and over age bracket. He's got these lists on his phone of these women that like if you know the list. If if, if I, I know the if list, you just see, in you know, case. Yeah. So and his wife apparently has a list too. They got a lot of lists in that house. Anyway, so I'm <laughs> over there and I'm like, step I need, one. <laughs> I need to build a list. So I'm like, all right, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. So you got hold on, Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. Because I spit hot fire. You got to say it right, <laughs> Gal Gadot. She, it's 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 Israeli, so it's got this little thing on it. Oh. And then do a <laughs> leap. <laughs> yeah. Look, if it was up to me, well then, if it was up to me, it would be Gal Saber. You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Courtney, I love you. <laughs> Courtney well, understand. Now we know his list. <laughs> All right, gal, so I'm I'm, gal, I'm gal, gonna gal. I'm gonna vote for Borat <laughs> because I love Wonder Woman. Damn, it uh -huh. comes down to me, huh? I uh -huh. I, I I gotta go. You saw them? What's that? The movies? Yeah, both of them. I did. I gotta go with Borat because it did make me laugh. Uh, Wonder Woman eighty four. No, I know. I said it did make me laugh. Okay. Yeah. So and you know, Wonder Woman eighty four. But this is for the vote for the worst, lot. right? Yeah. So the oh, worst oh, would sorry. be Wonder Woman. So worst would be Wonder Woman. Yes. I apologize. I voted for you, Gal. So, sorry, Wonder Gal. Woman. Wonder Woman. And it wasn't Gal. Woman. It was just a story. It, it was, was a rock phallus that granted wishes. It was and stupid. Again, they take a great actor like Pedro Pascal and just uh, butcher it. Just butcher the shit out of it. So, Zack Snyder, please come back to DC and just be the Kevin Feige of DC that we all need. Ever since I saw him in, I don't know, what was that was that movie with the 007 shit? Oh, you saw it. That was your first time seeing him? What was it? The uh, the dude with, with Eggsy. Yeah, Eggsy, Eggsy. Uh, uh, the second one. Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah. yeah. I saw him in that shit. I'm like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to see anything else with him. Did you not watch? Game and now of he's in everything. Oh, but he was the guy. Yeah, yeah he was awesome. Yeah. Oberon. Over in Mar yeah. uh, what Martel, right? He's in Narcos too. Yeah. Right? Oh, he's great in Narcos. Yeah. I did so. see him in Game of Thrones. He's great. He, he just, got his yeah, fucking, but he did like yeah, yeah he got his yeah, skull yeah. crushed in by the fucking yeah, he mountain. Did. Yes, he did. Yep. And I wasn't mad. All right, All right so he, 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 he had sex with his sister. So. I got yeah, he, another yeah. one. Another that, one of those. That part. <laughs> Another one of those. Well, I bet if Game of Thrones, about this. If, if Game of Thrones, if you ain't fucking your sister or your cousin, you ain't doing it right. I love Flather's explanation on why he doesn't watch Game of Thrones. He obviously saw the wrong episode or whatever it may be. He was like, every time I put it on, there's a guy getting ass raped in the woods. I'm like, that was one fucking episode. Shout out to Flathers and Sumbles, by the way. Um, all right, so the last one that the fans got to vote on. Video game of 2020, and I mean there were some bangers. Obviously, we were you know quarantined. They were they were pumping them out like there was no other. So we have. Let me go through the oh, list shit, that here. One? Hold up. Hold up. All right. So we got Cyberpunk 2077, Final Fantasy 7 remake, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, The Last of Us Part Two, Doom Eternal. Ghost of, how do you say that? Tsushima. Thank you. Tsushima. You know I was going to butcher that. Animal Crossing, and then write in votes. This one was probably the, the biggest shocker to me, just because of Last of Us 2, as well as Final Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> but Animal Crossing took that. because y'all some bitches. <laughs> some, hey, by some, one vote, by one vote. Sometimes you don't want to kill. You just want to <laughs> yeah. dig up turnips just and love. shit. <laughs> I thought Cyberpunk was fucking awesome. Like, yeah, so it, what, yeah, but what it are had, your thoughts on your best? It had of too many, like, it was fucked up. It like, was it wasn't, glitchy. Yeah, glitchy as But fuck. the world was big, open. I really like Cyberpunk. They're going to fix it, and it's going to it's gonna be just like Grand Theft Auto Five, where, you know, five years from now, there's going to be a lot of shit going on. I think even though, like, Animal Crossing was great, Call of Duty's great, I think it, when we look back on this year, three or four years from now, Cyberpunk is going to have the longest staying power and wow. the ability okay. to uh, sort of develop and evolve over time. But I thought it was great. I loved it. I hope you're right because, I mean, we got to remember, Did too, you finish it? No. 
But they they stay they they, they kind of they're they're doing all these updates with it, and I know that they're spending some time. They talked about how into Q two they were going to do sort of this mass update that fixed the glitches. I'm probably about sixty five seventy percent through, but they're going to do this big update, fix all the glitches. They're going to start adding side quests and things like that to make it a lot bigger. So I said, okay, I had fun. Let's. Uh, so you're done with it, pretty much. From even what? even when the glitch when they no, fix when all they, that shit. I'll, I'll pick it back up. I'll pick yeah. it back up. Well, hopefully it's going to be like Grand Theft Auto. I mean, the first two were just you know uh, what was it? It was almost like a like an Atari game where you can only see the top, yeah. and it was a car and shit. It wasn't until three where you got to do all kinds of open world shit, mm-hmm. the world, kill hookers, get your money back, mm-hmm. all that mm-hmm. stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. You, <laughs> you know, know. Say Tuesday. You know, yeah. Yeah. just Life. a regular Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is shit though. The Last of Us Two, clearly. Oh no, no, yeah, that's right. So I wanted to get your feedback on video games. It was just no, that's it. Last of Us Two. Don't Fantastic. play anything else. It's the it's the best game. It's the game of the year. It's, yeah. it's won so many awards. Cyberpunk, I stayed away from only because of the glitches. Right, and you don't want to play it if you have a Xbox One X or a PlayStation Four. You only want Cyberpunk because the glitches yeah, are worse. Yeah, you only want to play oh. Cyberpunk if you have the next the PS5. Console. Yes, yes. For now, the apartment size PlayStation Five. <laughs> God, those fuckers are massive. Check out the unboxing video. There you go, Jerry. Do you have a, a favorite video game from last year? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Man of many words, right there. <laughs> the only uh, one I played was uh, Animal Crossing, and I enjoyed it. So, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. Hey. Okay. So no, what, what I did... I love the Switch. <laughs> the Switch is cool. Is I did the Unity Unity <laughs> Award of 2020. And to me, this was kind of... We didn't know it at the time, but a very kind of defining moment. And it was right when COVID hit. So I don't know how Netflix did what they did, but it was perfect timing for Tiger King to come out. It was seven episodes of just... I literally thought it was a mockumentary because the shit was like, so this, this ridiculous. This can't be real. <laughs> so absurd. And Joe Exotic and company out there. I mean, seven episodes of just craziness. We did an episode on it, so please be sure to check it out. But the fact that they dropped it, I think they were like, they didn't know what to do with it. And they're like, the country's on lockdown. Now's the time to drop it Tiger King. Like, I didn't even think of the timing right. aspect of it. But yes, that's perfect. Yeah. And I mean, when else will we watch that? Because if you normally would see a preview for something like that, especially nowadays when the world's open back up, for the most part, you know, you'd be like, oh, fuck all this show. Or fuck this show. But now, you know, at that time, it was literally right when we got locked down and it came out and it was just so insane and what, uncomprehensible trash? <laughs> right and you it was just like watching a car wreck like you couldn't stop watching it i've never seen it whoa wow. you're missing out on life man yeah. i've never seen the princess bride i wouldn't either. know about that still oh still? Same <laughs> come on man and then and then i do have one more and this is the most confusing movie of 2020 tenet? and it is tenant i love christopher nolan i love you we would love to have you on the show I think at this point now you have to be a rocket scientist yeah. or have a master's in like astrophysics or something else to watch your films. I thought uh, what was John David Washington uh, yes. or Denzel Washington's son was John great. Mm-hmm. Robert Robert Pattinson was fantastic. I thought the acting was really good, but I was lost the entire Here, here's time. A quote. How many times did you try? Just once? Oh no, yeah. I watched it again. Did just, you? just to try. You watched it twice. Just to try. Literally, I was going to say, here's a quote from my boss. He said, "Ryan, the fourth time it really starts." To- <laughs> 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 and he was serious as a motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I like that though. He's determined oh, to yeah. get that shit. Yeah, 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 he is, man. He's yeah. like, listen. He's like, Ryan, man. The fourth time it really started to click. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely going to be the sound bite for the show. <laughs> And I mean, a lot of his movies, like even one of his first ones, Memento, I really love. I mean, the movie literally awesome. starts with the end yeah. and then just goes backwards. And Guy Pierce is Great. fantastic yep. in it. But this one, just with the technology and everything else and the kind of time travel, it was it was really hard to just catch up. That's just mm-hmm. my opinion. Didn't he he did Inception too, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what what's going on in Inception. What? what, what? Inception was awesome. Well, no, just the beginning. With with uh, the Asian guy, like, why is he so old? Because he went into the fucking. Well, all the, the beginning is not the beginning, though. Levels. 
You see the beginning right. in, like later on in the movie. This so is, he did go down all the levels. Yes. Okay. By the way, spoilers ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Everybody should know that if you listen. Go to watch the show. Inception. All right. Well, now I'm going to watch it again. It's on. Uh, it's like ten years I, old. It's on I Netflix know. right now. I own the shit. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, think, I got I Blu-ray. Ready I got to come the Blu-ray. Off. <laughs> All right. So up next, uh, what are we doing here? We're doing um, the twenty twenty one. So uh, I was listening to two guys named Chris today. Big shout out to two guys named Chris uh, radio show here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And they Both of their doing... names are Chris. <laughs> in <laughs> case you didn't know, do you get it? Yeah, Chris Kelly yeah. and Chris Dim. We actually gave them a present oh, uh, way back when. We yeah. gave them their uh, the Golden, Golden Girl, Girl cereal. cereal. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, I've so, wrapped it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> and they gave us a shout out, too. That's back when we were multi popsural. Now we're all grown up and called Zero <laughs> Dark Nerdy. <laughs> Fuck me. You know I got it. <laughs> so they did a segment called It's 2021. Can we stop? And they just went over a lot of topics as far as can we stop picking on this? Can we stop supporting this, this, that, and the other? So I sent it to these guys today. And uh, <laughs> this time, I think we'll start with Saba and then go to Jerry and then Matthew and then myself on this one. I, I didn't see it or hear it, so I don't <laughs> fucking know. But I'm going to say this. Can we stop pretending like maybe we're not pretending anymore? But it's 2021. Can we stop having to answer like go back to answering the door when uber eats drops food off like there's no reason for me to walk out there and have that uncomfortable moment where you know they're handing me the food and and all that like don't ring my fucking doorbell just get to my house leave that shit on the fucking i know you're there because the app tells me when you get there just leave the food and go is and that then, not an option though you can tell them to like yeah, leave but it. it is now the i don't, fuck I don't, off I don't, I don't yeah, want to yeah. i don't want to go yes. back <laughs> drop it off and fuck off yeah, yeah. i don't want to go because look i'm hung over like i i look like i'm hung over <laughs> you know it's like six o'clock i'm just coming out of bed for the first time in the day my Hair, I got m- minimal hair left, but you know the one, the part that's left is all over the place. I don't want to interact with you right now, <laughs> so I'm gonna say it's up, 2021. Matt? Can we stop with um, the handoff from Uber Eats at the door? <laughs> Jesus, do not <laughs> you look lazy at motherfucker. or even come near touching Sable. <laughs> Big shout out to Matt Bowes out there. Page High Bose? School in the building. My sister Janet. Hey. He had the dope Audi. <laughs> That's right. He did. He was the first person I ever met with an Audi. He had the dope Audi. <laughs> hi, hi, Janet. Hey, Janet. All right. So, Jerry, what's your can we stop in 2021? Well, I thought about it for a minute and I thought about um, Hollywood right now. Okay. And so, my thing is it's 2021. Can we stop? Casting Pedro Pascal and Oscar <laughs> Isaac as everybody, every fucking thing. Why? I like, I like he's in the Oscar Last Isaac. of Us. <laughs> That's right. He's the last. He's they, Joel. Get the fuck. They're out of here, great. Man. Okay, they're great, but they don't need to be in every fucking movie. You know who should have been Joel? Dude from Game of Thrones. Andrew Lincoln. Is that him? Ooh, oh, guy oh, from oh, Walking, that's Dead. Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. You, you think he wants to do more zombie shit now? Okay. Come on. No but pain. it's not completely he, zombie he shit. Ain't been, he ain't been I mean, fucking you know it's survival yeah. shit. Yeah. He, oh, I love Andrew he don't Lincoln. need to work anymore. Yeah, He's about Andrew to Lincoln. get that movie money. I want to go back the to the theater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of hacking zombies to death. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. For this. You hate Oscar Isaac? I'm just I don't like I said, they are it's great. Saturation, oversaturation. Yeah. They're getting all the big parts. Okay. What was the last one he got? He just got a brand he just got a good Moon one. Knight. Mo- yeah. yeah, he's fucking Moon Knight. He which will probably he, be he, a great Moon no, Knight. You know what he meant? He's like, I don't even know who what Moon Knight is. <laughs> but it's he did? Well, yeah, but Toby Toby McGuire said that he never read a fucking Spider-Man comic book in his life when he was cast as mm. Spider-Man. So yeah, maybe and then he danced in Spider-Man 2, and it was all three. So wait a minute, what, what's Oscar Excuse Isaac? Me, yeah, what don't whatever, you like fuck. Oscar Isaac in? Um, uh, he was a crappy apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Apocalypse. Maybe I'm just holding grudges for those X-Men movies. Yeah, that know. was like No, but you're right, ago. though. It was horrible. Yeah. You're right, man. It it's was. like an old man. It Weird. was. All right. Jerry, I'm with you. He's every, I mean, you can't have all the roles. I'm with you. 
<laughs> Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> this is the way, Jerry. This Pascal, you better come correct on this last of a show. God damn it. I wanted the knight, the one armed guy from yep. Game of Thrones. Because yep. that's what everybody. Was Jamie saying. Lannister. I can't yes. think of his real name yes. right now. Jamie I thought Lannister. he would have been great. He would have been Joel. The Kingslayer, yep. boy. Yep. The Kingslayer. He, he, yeah, had, he had oh, you sex did with his sister, no, too. What? He was yeah. another one. He actually died with her, too. Yeah. Is it my a, turn? That was a terrible fucking... Let's not go down that route. Hold on. You're bringing up oh, memories. Did you said. see yesterday they released a brand new trailer for season eight of Game of Thrones? HBO no. did. Just fucking Why? yesterday. They're like, you know what? Let's... Uh, you know, it's Let's 2021. Let's get people to watch it. Like, the shit the up. King Slayer cut. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, they're like, you know what? The fucking sun's coming through the clouds of 2020. We can get paid Let, again? Let's fucking ruin their day by remi- by reminding them how yeah. shitty it is. Try watching it again. The yeah. Tyrion Lannister cut. God. Ugh. No, by the way, the release the Zemo cut. dances. Oh, my God. They did. They, they did, did today. It was awesome. They did. Oh, Lord. They're like, we'll, the we'll, we'll get into that. God. God. Damn, I love this show. <laughs> All right, Matt, go do you ahead. really? I do, man. I've I only I've Falcon only watched Soldier. episode one. I've watched half of episode oh. one. So, but I'm the only reason I don't like I have, Falcon. I just don't. He's like awesome. Falcon. He's awesome. You will grow to love him he's in awesome. this series. I'm, I'm. I just have decided it's only six episodes, right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna oh, really? fucking binge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna binge the whole thing. But before Matt gets started, my sister just commented. I say in 2021, can we stop the small talk Jesus. at work on Monday morning? <laughs> yes, Karen. I did have a good weekend. And amen. Janet, amen. Janet, I want to follow up on that yeah. and say, like, it's like on Friday, the last thing on Friday is like, oh, what are you going to do this weekend? And everybody right. sits there and bullshits on Friday yeah, afternoon about doing. what they're going to yeah. do this weekend. And then first thing Monday morning, what would you, what'd do? you do this weekend? <laughs> Same motherfucker. Stop the bullshit. No Friday talk. No Monday talk. Talk to me Tuesday through Thursday. Wait, are you in the office again? No, and that's one of the reasons why I don't want to go there. I don't care what you did this weekend. Don't ask. It me. doesn't matter. I got drunk on Friday. I was hungover on Saturday, and I rolled out of bed on Sunday. That's the story. Word. Matthew, what is your? It's twenty twenty one. Oh, I, yeah, up. I had to write this one down too. Sorry. Oh, because all of mine were political, and this is a pop culture show, and we're having a good time, so I'm not going to fuck it up. It's 2021. Can we finally admit that Michael Rappaport is not cool? Yo, no. you are the worst, <laughs> Michael Rappaport. We yes. never want you on this show. You're not cool. You're hearing me You're not flat cool. out. I, I never want out you on the show. No reply. Yeah. On some personal shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember you telling me that you yeah, and yeah. Like, no, your it's, family it's had not a good thing. Yeah, right, it's right. beef. It's Brownsville beef. Yeah. But yeah, I reached out. No reply. And then I see this KG shit. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And the shit with Portnoy in bar- Barstool. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He's suing him for fucking saying he had herpes Defamation and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but put- that's all he does every fucking putting- day. Yeah. That, that's how he makes money. That, that's like Charlemagne the God trying to sue somebody. That's what you do all day every fucking day. Go yep. look at the deposition tapes that Barstool's putting out from, from the Rappaport Sue, like... They got like some fucking ambulance. He got like some ambulance chasing. Public defender. Jackie Gleason motherfucker. <laughs> Jackie hey, Childs. Hey, Jackie hey, Styles. Hey, yeah. Jackie Leave Jackie Styles. Gleason alone. Yeah, Who told Jackie you to put the ball on? <laughs> and it's just like, dude, Portnoy fucking destroys him in this. The other guy that he sued that works for Barstool basically in his deposition tape said the phrase, uh, love is temporary. Herpes lasts forever. <laughs> in, in the deposition tape. Funniest shit Word. ever. Watch it. Yeah, Word. fuck Rappaport, man. Yeah, I like that. I yeah. like hearing that. Because you know I used to be a Rappaport guy. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you Rappaport. actually went to bat for him yeah. when yeah. I told him. And here's the thing. Before yeah. I told you where it was very easy up. to go on your text messages and delete your own text. Yeah. And delete their text, you too. You can make that shit whatever you, you want. You can make it look like whatever. So moving forward, if you're going to tell someone to go fuck themselves, try to do that shit on Snap You see that Flagrant 2 I, sh- I sent you? Did you watch that Flagrant 2? Uh-uh. But, well, they were talking about Rappaport, and they showed every text. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Exactly. I mean, bro, listen, let me let me say one more thing. I get it, dude. Michael KG R- went in his ass. Michael yeah, Rappaport <laughs> has, KG, been, has been doing it for a long time. Yeah, he's a hater. He's been, no, I just mean like he's been in, in you know, he's been a B or a C list 
guy for he, a really long time. No, he was in he True Romance. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he thinks he's a. Hey, Clarence. He's, yeah, he's he got, thinks he's a. He, he thinks he's a. No, but he's yeah. not. But he's got some longevity in the business. He's been around for a long time. That don't mean shit. He white. Okay, I get it. Hold on. <laughs> hold I mean, on. Hold on. Wait, am I wrong? Let me, let me get am to I my, wrong? Let me get to my point. He's been around for a long time. He's been in some good movies. He's been, you know, Atypical's good on Netflix. I mean, he does Atypical's some good. stuff. Yeah. He should be fucking happy that Kevin Durant's even talking to him. Period. There you go. True that. Period. True that. And then he to put him on blast yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, KD fucked him up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but called him a man Called him a cocksucker. Like a cocksucker. <laughs> Yo, that's the worst thing you can call me. <laughs> You want you look. You want to see something go down, bitch. You, you, want, you want to find out if <laughs> I got mark any ass buster. Your mark ass buster. Hey, you want to find out if I got any <laughs> gas left in the tank? Call me a cocksucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> Word. That's your trigger. That's yeah, your trigger. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Damn, man. That is a Mine good one. Mine starts with an N. That is a good one. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. You know. Damn, that's good. That's or, hard to follow up. Shit, I might need to. Nah, I mean, we week. could hate on Rappaport for the rest oh, of the episode if no, you want. No, no, no. <laughs> we did. Last, last thing I need to do is get sued. So this motherfucker will be, oh, defamation of character. Here's what these guys all said. Bruh. You know we made it, though. We're getting sued by Michael Rappaport. You didn't answer. Then the KD shit. I know everything I need to know. Yep. There it Salud. is. There Mark it is. ass buster. Love is temporary. Herpes is forever. The Jesus family. We got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mine, it's 2021. Can we stop saying I'm living the dream? It's, I think, I think it's been enough now. Who the fuck still says that, though? I, that, that still happens, especially Have in, in a corporate. That? Well, you know, yes. him and I work in a corporate Yo, world. I fucking so. hate it. You, there's you, always you, one guy. You jump always, always, one jump guy. on always. a Zoom call yep. or somebody calls you. Hey, man, what's going on? Just, just living, living the, the dream. dream. Yeah, uh, do you even yes. know what that means right now? Like, yes. you just, he's so conditioned to say it. Exactly. Yes. No, it's the way exactly. they say, I hate my job. Yep. That is, that is, tell me you hate your job without saying you hate yep. your job. Living the dream. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm over it. I mean, I used to say it myself. I mean, it was popular after I've what? checked Will, out Will already. Ferrell, used to say it. <laughs> yeah, Will Ferrell said it in uh, old school a long time ago, and that's when it, you know, it kind of picked up. And then after a while, it's like, oh God, fuck this. This is not a dream. Living the dream. <laughs> so, can we cancel cancel culture? I would love to. Please. I'm over that shit. I'm over Please. that shit too. You can't just like wipe somebody's whole shit out like yeah. Pepe Le Pew. That shit was hilarious Yo, when I was yeah. growing up. Let's bring back, a, like, <laughs> yeah. let's bring back apologies. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah. like what Sorry. If happened to you know God? Louis C.K. God Done. forgives me. Yep. You know when I apologize for yep. doing shit. Why, Why can't, can't you? Everybody else. You know. Got it. Yeah. No. Let's and bring back apologies in 2021. Judge exactly. my ass, bitches. Because here's the thing: Just if we all make that. it with a, you know, whether this podcast or our own individual projects, whatever it is. We're going to have to hire some social media person to go back in because, yeah. God forbid, we were just drinking one night, said some bullshit 15 years ago, and all of a sudden <laughs> we get James Gunn. Right. And, you know, then hopefully Disney brings us back, which they did. I don't give a fuck. I own only after losing out to DC for a minute. <laughs> right. Also, big up to Suicide Squad, too. Yeah. Or that's yeah. going to be really good. But yeah. isn't it like a redo? Yeah. yeah. It's, right? yeah it's, it's like a, part it's one like it happened. Again. It happened, but we don't care. Yeah. 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 I would say the one good thing about that, like social media and like text message, I, I hate communicating with people. So I really don't have anything to worry about. No, he's, he's straight up on the phone. He's on the phone or FaceTime. I am not a communicator. I can't say okay. shit. <laughs> I'm definitely over text message stuff. So any, any uh, final thoughts, anything like that? Again, I want to thank each and every one of you, all of our fans out there watching, listening. We are getting ready to hit season four, year three. It's been it's such a fun journey. We got more interviews coming your way, more giveaways, all kinds of fun shit. Again, big shout out to sunstashes.com for these very, very cool shades. Great for if you just need a quick Comic-Con thing or for any kind of theme night, be sure to go on their website and uh, obviously fantastic for kids parties. So that's, you know, I don't want to say it's my shout out, but just wanted to put that out there. But you guys, any any shout outs, fans, anything like that? And Jerry, please trivia. tell them about the trivia. Oh, yeah. Um, come see my trivia. <laughs> uh, I'm at Odin Brewing uh, Tuesdays at 7. And then Stumble Stillskins on Wednesdays at 7.30. And then Stumble Stillskins again on Friday at 7.30. And then uh, catch me Sunday Funday at Speakeasy Tavern on at 
seven thirty. Um, my thing is um, those uh, the my favorite TV show of twenty twenty didn't make the list, but Solar Opposites. Solar Opposites. Good show. Solar Opposites is great. Fucking if you like hilarious. Rick and Morty, it's basically Rick and Morty. It's the same show. It's like a it's a focus on another family, of, and that family is a group of aliens. But it's basically the same thing. The credits look the same like (laughs) recycled if you like rick and morty you'll love solar opposites check it out the wall yeah oh god yeah that needs its own show i do not want to ever that's my oh my god that's the nightmare yeah taken and put todd collins says it's a great great fucking show great fucking show solar opposites season two yeah season two but yes season one was 2020 matt what do you got about what any final thoughts? Shout outs? Uh, no, huh. man. Hey, huh. okay, check this out. <laughs> huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like to get political on this. I've been watching this trial ah. nonstop. And That's my uncomfortable white. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. That was so necessary. So necessary. Um, I'm over it. Like, there's got to be a point where the judge is like, "All right, never mind." Just yeah, like I don't need to hear yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but I do think that it, it is like somewhat of his, of a historical thing. Yeah, people should watch it. Yeah, only because if it doesn't go the way it's supposed it's going, to go, it's going to. It's I I pray it does. It fuck, yeah. There's no I way. I pray it, it does. Yeah. No oh, the, there's no way. Oh, the white judge. The judge is, he looks like Jerry. There's no. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I look. I've been here, but I've been here before. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I've said there's no way it can't. There, there ain't. Don't no say that. Way. Don't say that. None. At any rate, if it does not go the way it's supposed to go, America's gonna burn. Ooh. I'm not. I mean, it will, it will not be pretty christ on his throne but it is very relevant so it should, yeah yes like keep up with current events and shit there you go that's all i got and just like we talked about um on fuck the last episode, fuck my report, <laughs> but on the uh judas and the black messiah do your homework you know don't just rely on social media yeah. study do no, all no, that shit no, 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 hit us up we'll, no. we'll have a conversation don't with you. rely on social media rely on us at right. all do your homework yeah. Period. There you go. <laughs> don't don't get any news from we be any knowing social shit. media. Yeah. We smart. Just catch yeah, up with your smarticle. family and that's it. <laughs> Same one? At WC Sports Pod, the water cooler. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, like, follow, subscribe. My boy Luke and I, every Tuesday, we're bringing the heat. We've been doing a lot of interviews lately. We had a sports agent, Sam Tiger, on a couple weeks ago. We had... Um, Cam Rogers, who's the golf uh, personality from the Believe Podcast Network on there. You play golf, don't you? I try. I'm terrible. But you have uh, clubs and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I play. I play. Uh, but check us out at WC Sports Pod. And also presented by presented by betonline.ag. You, That's al- right. you always forget to end mm-hmm. the show with that. I do. And I do. A big thank you to Believe, po- uh, Believe Podcast Network for taking a chance with this. Very fun. Uh, still learning shit every single day. Uh, pop culture podcast here. So big shout out to Believe Podcast Network. Uh, of course, Katie Simmons, the best realtor broker in the North Carolina area. You can reach her That's at bold. Katie. Oh, she's great. She's great. <laughs> she's shit. Katie.Simmons <laughs> at AllenTate.com. Um, you know, a big thanks to a lot of our older sponsors, too, that, that helped us get started. Gate City uh, Growlers. Growlers. Uh, four Saints. Oh God! Yeah, we need to go to Ashburn. Andrew, 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 Andrew Newman, attorney at law. Again, if you're in trouble in North Carolina, call him. Be sure to like hit him up. It's I called him. Newman. I call. I wasn't in trouble, but I called him on a civil thing. Bullshit. My neighbor's trees. My neighbor's trees keep falling through my fucking fence, bro. Oh. I woke up on Christmas Day. It was the second time in three months that a fucking tree had gone through my brand new six thousand dollar fence. So oh, I called wait, Andrew. Through it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so I called that. Andrew Newman. I yeah. said, "What? What can I do?" He said, eh, not <laughs> "You know." So anyway, call Andrew. He'll shoot Newman. you straight. He'll talk to you. But he, he's he's fantastic. And again, to the fans, our family, our friends, all you guys. I mean, you've been with us since day one. 
And for those of you that we've met along the way, hung out with, we're going to be at uh, Greensboro Comic Con, I believe, next month. Mm. A lot of awesome stuff opening up, and uh, yeah, it's it's surreal. Is this the end of season three? This is the end of season is three. season three over? Season three is over. <laughs> so wrap. for season four, we do have some stuff that we've already pre-recorded. We had the interview with Rob... Paulson. Paulson. His name That's is Robert off. Paulson. His name is Robert Paulson. He's that done a awesome. lot of your favorite voices. That's actually going to be broken up into two parts yeah. because it's two-hour interview. A lot more interviews coming your way, uh, a lot of big things, and a lot more swag, too. So big shout-out to Partial Supply House for our new Zero Dark Nerdy hats. And, uh, and we're not talking machismo. We're talking actual <laughs> machismo. We're talking. <laughs> say hello you, you, when to you the say bad guy. You know you have you gotta, to do we're that. We're talking do zero. We're talking <laughs> zero dark nerdy goods. That's right. That's right. More swag. We got more a lot contests, more swag. More giveaways. And uh, yeah, so, um, uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Peace. Bye. Bye. And anger management? Fuck anger management.